G'day guys, Steve with Broken Sprocket. In this video I'm going to be replacing the swing arm bearings on the RM125 project. And finally the swing arm on the 125 will be finished. So, let's get started. Right, we start with the new bearing kit. Okay, I've got a complete swing arm rebuild bearing kit here. I've got a few different types of washers, the bearings, the sleeve collars and seals. So I'm gonna to have to pay close attention when I pull this apart to see um, where these different washers go. Okay, this washer here has some sort of bearings in it which the other ones don't. But I would say this would be the thin washer and this one here would be the one with that sort of a funny um, nylophone pattern on it. Nothing in that one. One has three washers. Must be another washer in there. There is. Okay, with these washers out, this set here has a set of little bearings inside this washer, and then it has the two plain washers. So these here would replace the two plain washers, and this washer here that has this sort of a nylophone type of patterning would replace that one that has the bearings. Okay, I need to take out the old bearing. As you can see, the writing is always to the outer edge of the uh, bearing, and the bearing seems to just sit flush up against this section of the swing arm. So it needs to be put back in to flush. Okay, this is the most important part in setting up the press with your swing arm. You need to set it up in this way, and I'll explain why. Okay, I have a socket that supports the bottom part of this swing arm because this is the bearing I'm pushing out this one here. I have another extension bar going through the swing arm with no pressure on this top piece of the swing arm at all. We have another socket that's going to go through this swing arm and push the bearing into this socket. You need it like this. Now if I was to set it up to take this one here out and um, and push weight on this you can actually bend your swing arm or snap it clean in half. So you need to take, make sure there's absolutely no weight in between this section that can push the swing arm together. Bearing. Now with those bearings out, just give it a bit of a clean up, get the old dirty grease out. Now we just need to push the new bearings back in to flush. Just smear a small amount of grease on the inside to make it a little bit easier to slide in. Okay, I'm about to push this bearing in here. And as you can see, I've got the press set up supporting the swing arm at this point here, not this point. Otherwise, when I push in, you can damage your swing arm again. So the piece what the bearing is going in is the piece you must support. Now this bearing must go flush to that inner piece. about there. Okay now with both bearings in and flush just need to grease these bearings up. Okay now we need to put these washers in, smear a little bit of grease on them. That one, the one with this funny pattern or coating on it. And then have one of these 
ones. Finally, the dust seal. The part with the groove in it, just put a little bit of grease in there, just so that it seals up nice and good. And put that piece facing inwards. And this one here just had the seal on the inner side. And that's it. These washers go on when you install it to the bike. Hey, watch this video next or go to the Broken Sprocket video library and choose another top video. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. After all, it's for free and guaranteed to make your day 20% better. If you're already a subscriber and you're having a bad day, just think it could have been 20% worse. You can also follow Broken Sprocket on Instagram. So, I'll see you in the next video.